वेलकम गाइस इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स सी हाउ टू पाइवर्ट बिटवीन नेटवर्क्स यूजिंग एसएस टर्निंग एंड प्रॉक्सी सेंस सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर ado लेट्स डाइव इनटू द वीडियो मैं कमिंग टू दिस लैब सेटअप आई हैव कॉल लिनक्स पैड सिक्योरिटी एंड विंडोज मशीन सो लेट्स जस्ट गो टू सबलाइन टेक्स्ट एंड ऐड लेट्स ऐड पैड सिक्योरिटी एंड Kali Linux and also Windows machines. So yeah, now I will just open this terminal here and I will do a simple if config. You can see mm, that it was connected to two different Ethernet interfaces and. Mm, just ignore this is the net zero interface because I just connected it for the internet purpose. And let's say it has, uh, it was connected to 192.12.12.133 IP, which has subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Let's say that Kali Linux was connected to 192.12.12.12.0. Zero slash twenty four since two fifty five. I mean, since that is a subnet mask, it will have two twenty four as subnet. So yeah, this that I said re ignore it. So ignore it. And I will do similarly. I will run. I will open parallel terminal, and I will do simple if config. And you can see that. Mm, it is connected to two subnets and one is in the same network which is called Linux was connected so let's add that let's just copy it I'm a kind of lazy boy so yeah so we can see another IP address also here and let's add it here 168.10.0 point zero slash 24 and similarly like Ethernet 0 in Kali Linux, I can act this just for an uh, internet purpose. So just ignore this. And now let's switch to my Windows machine and I will do IP config here too. You can see that it is connected to the same subnet which is connected by Parrot security. So I will just add this here. So Mm, if we see, we have three different subnets. Let's say, let's name it as network one, network of two. Sorry, it is also network one. Work two. Network. Perfect, right? Yeah, perfect. See, guys, mm, since these both are in different networks, Windows machine and Kali Linux machine, we cannot connect this both. I mean, we cannot initiate a connection directly. So, we will use this parrot security since it has these both connections. We will SSH into this parrot security. And by associating, associate, well, initiating a SSH connection, we will create a dynamic port to the parrot security so that we can send all the, we can transfer all the packets to that port and send them to Windows, Windows operating system. So, this may sound confusing. So, I will get into the practical stuff. Okay, I will get into the Linux and. Firstly, you should install both SSH and proxy chains packages and also do update DB so that all the configuration files or all the files will be updated in the database so that we can just use locate and get this proxy chains.conf. If this doesn't work, any of these commands just use apt install. And locate it's a tip for you so yeah since you can find this proxy chains configuration file I will use my sublime text as node editor 
can even use nano it's completely preference so by going below you can see there is port 9050 okay remember this or change it as you like i'll just remember this and i will initiate a connection now mm, so let's grab this ip address um, since this both are in the same network so i'll grab the same network ip address so i will use as such lexi dominate at the rate and row shift key sorry just in guys yeah it's asking for the password i'll give it's normal though so it's not the process let's just add this dash d argument and give the port 9050 and uh, let's give this okay. let's give the password and now the connection was all right so mm, we don't have anything here firstly we have to prove that kali linux doesn't have any connection to this windows machine so i use remina here and i'll grab this ip address sorry this to be remina i will connect see it is it keeps buffering i use remina here and i will paste this ip address and it's asking for the username and password so mm, i'll give exploit in and password as secret i will not disclose it now subscribe to my channel and ask me in my discord server don't be in the description so i can show you my secret password yeah okay now we will toggle the dynamic resolution here it's working perfectly right okay no you may think i am mad because i use this ssh connection here but why it's not connecting because you should use proxy chains here i just did the abo i used the abo command because i can prove that kali linux has no potential access to uh, windows machine so i will use proxy chains and type whatever command you like mm i will sorry remina perfect and i will give the ip address see guys it asked me for username and password in next uh, password is i said right subscribe and come to my discord i will share you my password okay i'll click okay and i'll just toggle once again yeah it's working i'll do rp config it's pretty fast yeah so i think the proof work but i have something else here to explain to you guys mm, if you see here it is connecting to this 9050 port c proxy chains it's using strict chain the some random types of and so three types of chains strict chain dynamic chain proxy chains then the differences yeah, i mean if you are interested then the differ differences uh, i will link a blog in the below so that you can understand what is the difference between strict chain random chain and proxy uh, dynamic chain and how you can configure them as you wish so here mm, there is uh, it was connecting to the port which we mentioned in the configuration file or which we open mm, using ssh connection and here you can see it was connecting to the port it was sending this packets and then the packets are reaching to the destination ip address on the port so yeah you guys may think why can why i am using semina complex thing instead of using ping command as uh, first reason windows doesn't allow ping commands and second reason this proxy chains can't through ports port to port host to port i mean host to host so it definitely need port but ping is not that kind of thing so i just used a remote desktop client which uses 338 as default port so it will naturally yeah okay thank you for watching have a nice day once again we consider subscribing my channel
and joining my discord server so thank you for watching once again have a nice day